All right, folks, well, we're on Stormwatch. I'm Joshua Weisel here in the Weather 225 Storm Studios. It's going to be a pleasant couple of days until we get to about Friday. If you've been following our social media, our live weather channel, and our app notifications, uh, we've been telling you about this risk for about a week now. So we've had this red alert tag for Friday, uh, and now we have an official uh, Storm Prediction Center highlighted area for day three uh, as of this morning. So Right now, the Storm Prediction Center has all of our coverage area under a slight risk for severe weather. This extends into Oklahoma City, and then it also goes all the way down uh, towards the Houston area as well. The timing is going to be uh, variable over the next 24 hours or so. There's still some refining we need to do. Uh, same with exact risks, but we at least now have a highlighted area to show you uh, that there is pretty much a giant slight risk that includes all of our coverage area. So now that you've seen the outlook, I'm going to turn the outlook off and show you uh, the NAM model. And this is what we're going to be watching for. So the timing has been kind of going back and forth, but uh, it looks like there's going to be a fairly good chance that during the afternoon hours is when we could see this storm. Now, there's still going to be some variable times. This could adjust in the next 24 hours or so, so don't uh, take this too seriously quite yet. Uh, stay tuned for our full forecast once we get closer uh, to Friday or on the day of. But here's a look. This is 1 o'clock on Friday, 4 o'clock on Friday. And then take a look at this, 7 o'clock on Friday, uh, there's some isolated development ahead of a linear line of storms that tries to develop and makes its way into the area by at least 10 o'clock uh, on Friday. So, and then it will continue 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning. It should be out of the area, at least by this model, uh, by early morning on Saturday. So we're going to be watching this very carefully. If we do get any sort of isolated activity ahead of a linear line of storms, this would be of concern for uh, a large hail risk, maybe even a tornado risk as well. Uh, we're not talking too significant right now. We are at a slight risk, uh, but there are some threats in place for all types of severe weather that we're going to be watching. Uh, isolated cells would have potentially hail up to 1.75 inch or 2 inches in diameter. That's half dollar to slightly bigger. And then an isolated tornado threat with that as well. And then the main line of storms would have mainly a damaging wind risk as well as as well as an embedded tornado risk as well with flash flooding so that's what we have going on here there's still some updates that uh, we need to be refining with this forecast as we approach Friday still uh, we are a couple of days out so we'll let you know uh, if anything changes but uh, right now uh, that's what we have going on some of the models are saying it comes in a little bit later there's some that are saying uh, like this one that is going to come in during the afternoon so we're going to be watching this closely because there is a severe weather threat make sure that you download our free app and you can find our free app on the apple app store you can find it on google play as well we have live notifications whenever we have forecast updates we have uh, live weather maps we have access to our live weather channel uh, we have a million other tools that you can look at and because there's a severe weather threat we have a special button in the middle of the page it's called dfw severe weather hq it has access to all of the uh, severe weather information that you need to know before you start your day and it's all right there condensed into one spot also if you like watching us uh, you can also find us on Amazon Fire TV as well. Check us out. We're free on Amazon Fire TV, Google Play, and the Apple App Store. Stay tuned for updates in the coming days. We'll let you know if anything changes. We'll let you know exact details. Stay tuned on Friday. We'll try and get a forecast out there on Friday as well, just to let you know ahead of the storms. Whether it's sunny, stormy, or snowy in North Texas, be sure to download our free Weather 225 mobile app. 